Biggest news today, as far as what's coming out of Hollywood, is this divorce between Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. Now, in case you don't know who Sophie Turner is, you might remember her best for two roles. One, Game of Thrones, being a Stark daughter. Two, she played Jean Grey in the... I don't even know what you call it, rebooted X-Men from the the earlier timeline that they went forward with after they replaced the originals. That's her that's her two biggest claim to fame. I don't know if she's got another big role somewhere, but that's where I know her from. So she's been married to this dude for a while. I think they got married in 2007. Some, oh, no, okay, 2019, they got married, sorry. <laughs> 2019, they tied the knot. And everyone's talking about this divorce. And it's funny, you see this, the, the way that people cover celebrities for the past uh, couple of weeks, like, we've seen them without their wedding rings on and all this stuff. Well, it turns out that there was something to that. See how she's, it looks like she's holding a beer here. More on that. So, apparently, he wanted to stay together and keep the marriage going. A uh, family man wants to be with the children and uh, keep the family. Uh, she, however, does not want the family to stay together. She wants to break things off because she wants to go out and drink and sleep around. She wants to party. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, pure narcissism. You see this a lot, actually. I actually know a couple of people that the woman left the relationship because she wanted to go out and party again and relive her youth. And that's literally what they're saying here. Like, damn the kids, damn the family. It's all about me. I want to go out and drink and screw around and bang dudes because I, I miss that young party lifestyle. I mean, what a piece of shit. Like, you, you hate your family that much? You hate that family? Like you can't go out once in a while and drink? You have to cut it all off because you want to go out to the club every night. I mean, it's like shitty to do. Like at this point, and I don't know how their kids are. I'm guessing they're a couple of years old, not super old, but you know, like, or they're not older kids. I'm guessing they're all pretty young. It's like, where's mommy? Well, she's at the dance club uh, rubbing her butt on dudes. Sorry, uh, that's more important than you. Like, this is. This is Hollywood in a nutshell, too. Look at all these clips of her. Like, they have all kinds of pictures of her out, like, partying and drinking, stuff like this. So, this is what she wants to get back to. Doesn't care about anything else. Just thought that that was kind of shitty, to be honest. But these people, a lot of these people rarely even raise their kids, but I guess he wants to. A lot of them just pay nannies and shit, and they barely even interact with them. So... This is a Daily Mail exclusive, but, I mean, this is what they do, cover these people. Uh, a friend of Sophie's who did not want to be named revealed that the couple started having problems last Christmas, and then she separated from him at the start of the summer, spending the ensuing months partying with school friends in the U.K. and holidaying with them in Europe. So she doesn't even see the kids at all, really. Uh, the actress looked in high spirits as she partied the night away at Arcade Bar Drop Shop in Birmingham. It is believed that it's believed to have been the rap party for the series, which has seen Sophie working in Britain since May. And she let her hair down in style. She enjoyed uh, cheap cocktails and showed her strength at a punching game. Scenes were reminiscent of her famous clip of drinking wine and dabbing at a ice, ice hockey game. In an effort to save the family, Joe came to the UK with their two children over the summer and spent time in the area where she was brought up. But after failing to work through their differences, he returned to the US with their children and had, and they have been living with him since the split. Uh, that's like the key thing there. They've been staying with him. She doesn't want nothing to do with him. I see him once in a while, but I'm too busy uh, drinking and running around banging dudes to care. 
Uh, so she says she's just waking up to her life and what reality really is. Well, the reality should be your children, not you running around drinking and banging a bunch of dude and partying at clubs and bars all night. This is why I just don't care about the strikes. These, these Hollywood types are the worst people. But she became famous at a very young age, then married and had kids at a young age and never really had the teenage years of sleeping around and just having carefree fun with friends. She feels like she had her life stalled after Game of Thrones and has had her personal life. And so has her personal life. Since the kids came along, she's felt trapped. She's the only person in her tight friendship group. She's the only person in her tight friendship group who is married with two children. Wow, what a bunch of great friends that uh, want you to leave your kids and family so you can go out and party with them. Oh, you can do better. Is this what you want in your life? This is an awful person. So, yeah, I just thought that this was interesting and really highlighted just how bad some of these people are. And I see this a lot. Especially with like young women, they keep start creeping up towards 30. And if they've got kids and stuff, they're like, well, you know, I could be sitting here uh, not thinking about myself and thinking about my kids, but instead I'm going to be narcissistic and want to go out there and uh, get a couple more cucumbers before I, I go past 30. Sad. Sad. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals. And I'll, be on the next, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.